President Yoon Sung Yeol kicks off his trip to Indonesia and India next week as he ramps up multilateral diplomacy at the ASEAN and G20 summits and expand South Korea's role in regional security and economic issues. Our presidential office correspondent Woo Soo-young has a preview of his week-long trip. President Yoon Seok Yeol will strengthen Seoul's engagement in the Indo-Pacific at key multilateral summits next week in Indonesia and India, with North Korea's nuclear threat, climate change and regional cooperation high on the agenda. The top office announced Thursday that the South Korean leader will attend a series of summits of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations and the Group of 20 in the Indonesian and Indian capitals, which will focus on regional security, economic and social issues. Arriving in Jakarta Tuesday, Yoon will first meet with Korean expats before holding a bilateral summit with the 10-nation ASEAN bloc on Wednesday morning. The leaders of Japan and China will join for a plus-three meeting, with South Korea representing the Northeast Asian trio. The security-focused East Asia summit on Thursday will address North Korea's threat to the region, along with South Korea's role in upholding a rules-based international order. Yoon will then hold one-on-one -on -one summits, beginning with the Indonesian president, upon their 50th year of bilateral relations. Through the summit with Indonesia, a leading country in ASEAN and a key partner in implementing our Indo-Pacific strategy and the Korean ASEAN Solidarity Initiative, we plan to discuss ways to strengthen strategic cooperation in diplomacy and security and deepen partnerships in future industries such as electric vehicles and batteries. Resuming his multilateral diplomacy in New Delhi, Yoon will highlight Seoul's response plan to climate change and its growing role to bring peace and prosperity in the world as a global pivotal state. The leader will speak during sessions of the G20, proposing greater support for countries vulnerable to climate change and stronger global cooperation for the transition to clean energy. He will also emphasize the need to establish new global norms in a rapidly changing world, having presented a digital vision back in June for ethical and socially progressive standards for digital technologies. With ASEAN countries and India making up some 21 percent of South Korea's export markets, the top office says President Yoon will roll out economic diplomacy, encouraging active business and exchanges between future generations, particularly in the digital sector. We will strengthen cooperation in advanced industrial supply chains with Indonesia and the Philippines, whose electric vehicle and battery supply chains are closely connected with ours, while also discussing supply chain cooperation measures under the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework, along with seven ASEAN countries in India. Amid questions over a possible bilateral with Beijing or a trilateral including Tokyo, a senior official indicated that such meetings are unlikely to happen next week. Oh Seung Arirang News.